Supreme started as a skateboard brand in 1994 and has since become the leader of streetwear. To analyze and identify the brand, we have compared the brand's key points in relation to Keller's brand equity pyramid to identify and understand the route on how customers associate themselves to the brand. Supreme caters to the young and cultured who appreciates a combination of art and pop culture. The target demographic of the brand is 16 to 35 years old. Their success relies on satisfying their customers' access to an exclusive lifestyle at a manageable price point. We've identified that Supreme remains highly positive with their experience in relation to their positioning of competitive advantage, followed by product, access, price, and service. In relation to the points of parity between Supreme and its competitors, Stasi and Palace, they are three skateboard brands that emphasizes around street culture and offers the same price range. The point of differentiation is the key to winning for Supreme in comparison to its competitors because although they create products of the same style, have the same price point, and caters to the same customer profile, Supreme emphasizes more on what is currently relatable to their audience. For example, collaborations with pop culture icons, brands, and creating products that have the potential to be cool, no matter how simple it is, such as a brick or a pair of chopsticks. The second element of the pyramid is meaning which can be seen from two points of view performance and imagery Supreme's brand performance represents its reliability and culture customers know that the brand won't let them down and that whatever they wear from the brand are well designed and stylish they've created products that are distinctive and easily recognizable compared to its competitors because Supreme is strong about their branding and about the culture that they've built they're able to constantly design products that are able to translate their beliefs into intangible mechanisms and behavior that resonates back to the audience. Therefore, customers always feel a sense of belonging to the brand. Moving on to imagery, over the years, the brand has successfully been able to meet customers' need on a social and psychological level. Supreme has done this directly through the brand experience that the customers are exposed to or indirectly with the marketing efforts that they perform. For instance, the quality content on their social media channels and the word-of-mouth marketing that hypes one person to another with every new product. Another strategy that Supreme implies is target marketing. They are aware of the relevance of the personalized environment their audience are attracted to and therefore increases more mobile-first marketing with rich, attractive and interactive contacts straight to their mobile phones. This helps to decrease the challenge of customer apathy and deliver a positive ROI instead. Customers think of Supreme as an exclusive and cool streetwear brand. It is because of this association that customers remain loyal to the brand. Supreme created products that were able to have a symbolic and emotional representation on their customers. Supreme created their competitive advantage by understanding the most relevant motivation and desires of their customers. Not many brands are able to create a strong brand appeal as Supreme. Consumers reflect their feelings and self-image to the type of brand it is. When customers consume the products, it means that they can resonate its feelings with the company. They believe the product has a representation of who they are or who they want to be. When customers shop with Supreme, they feel exclusive, superior, and a sense of excitement. When customers wear Supreme, they feel cool and accepted into the community that the brand has created. Once they feel content and excited after one purchase, it leads to another purchase in the future because they are appealed to the emotions that the brand has created. It is an understatement to say that Supreme has a loyal customer base. Hundreds of youngsters, fashion enthusiasts will wait for up to 10 to 12 hours in front of their stores in London, New York or LA. From the loyalty and brand preference the brand gains, we can identify that Supreme has been able to own two important types of brand archetypes. Firstly, the ruler, which indicates that the brand is luxurious and exclusive and customers have high perception of the brand. Second, the creator, which shows that Supreme has strived to create any product and sell it at any price and customers will still think that they need the product and can't live without it. With this, we also understand that the brand follows an emotional route based on the pyramid. They've created a mentality that grows within their customer base, where customers feel appealed and connected to. Customers are propelled by emotions that are driven by habit, conditioning and impulse when shopping with the brand. At the same time, they've managed to build a community within where customers feel accepted by the brand. To further understand their appeal, here are a few notes from some Supreme enthusiasts. The most attractive thing from Supreme for me is about the uh, street culture behind the, this brand. And uh, if, you, if you look at the uh, videos that Supreme post in the Instagram or Twitter, and uh, they just like uh, have, have some like young people uh, driven in the skateboard and having fun in the street that you feel like you are uh, attracted by this stuff, this scenery. The best uh, fashion trend, uh, fashion brand in the world, and uh, 
in China, people will always say like everything with Supreme Idol will be, become a fashion. As a result of the spread of TV shows like The Rap of China and Hip Hop Music Worldwide, streetwear has become extremely popular in China. Gardner L2's report finds that streetwear-related brand search terms have seen double the year-over-year -year growth of traditional luxury fashion brand terms on China's largest search engine, Baidu. Thus, we suggest Supreme opening a store in Shanghai, the fashion hub of China. To solve two problems we identified, first, it will help fulfill China's demand for streetwear clothes, especially Supreme, which is currently only available through resellers which needs to be shipped at a very high price. Second, a benefit of branding to organizations is legal protection which Supreme does not have. It is one of the most counterfeited brands in the world and its fakes are among the most searched for. It also faces the problem of dealing with Supreme Italia, a legal fake which has two mega stores in China and plans on opening 70 new stores. With China's new trademark laws in November 2019, fake Supreme lost rights to use its trademark registered in China. However, it continues to operate, which makes it only a half battle won. Opening a store will allow Chinese customers to purchase authentic Supreme and stop them from buying counterfeit products which is important, especially in China where forgeries of luxury brand products are most prevalent. We suggest Supreme to open a store on 12 February 2021, that is on Chinese New Year. This would help Supreme in having a grand launch at the same time East Asia celebrates its most important holiday season and when consumer expenditure is at its peak. We suggest that Supreme's first drop at the new store should only be exclusive to the China store to increase exclusivity and hype for the product line. Also, the designs of this exclusive drop would borrow secondary associations from Chinese New Year due to the timing of launch and significance to the Chinese consumers, making it meaningful and likable. We also suggest that after this, the drops can be related to the theme of authenticity using statement designs like Pray the Fakes Get Exposed and so on to mock the fake Supremes and send out a message about their authenticity. This will help create awareness and inform consumers about the real Supreme to garner attention for those at the cognitive stage as well as an echo reminder to encourage an action for customers at the behavioral stage. With this, we hope to increase awareness and appreciation of Supreme's authenticity and brand value internationally in the long run. Thank you.